Monday, 10, 6 a.m. Say a command. December 9th, Monday, 10, 6 a.m. It's now 10.07. And the time I toggled back to this feature, the minute went by. Okay, my name is Leslie Williams and I'm in San Diego, California, and I want you to listen to something. This is a video prediction file, and what I'm about ready to play you is an, uh, a transferred audio segment from a tape recorder that I transferred to my phone. Now, I want you to be the judge. Do you hear these individuals say gang stalk together, then one says gang stalking, then the other one says gang is stalking, I'm going to F you up. You be the judge. Sorry, I'll turn me. Alright, hold on a second. And this individual has been used on at least anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions concerning overt and at times direct harassment. Do you hear these guys say gang stalk together? One says gang stalking in the background, and then the other one says gang is stalking, I'm going to F you up. Okay, now that was done in order to, uh, uh, in order to anchor the threat of being assaulted to gang stalking. So I would realize in my mind that this harassment was happening towards me because of gang stalking. The threat of being assaulted because of gang stalking and how they were trying to affect my own self-image by calling me a bitch and letting me know that that was being done because of gang stalking. That's right. That occurred on Thanksgiving Day, not too far from a specific location. And one of the individuals that was used in it has harassed me on anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions. And I do have a video file of that individual and it will be uploaded when I think it is it's the right strategic moment to do it. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams, and I am aware that I have my hat on. <laughs> I hate this hat. I mean, I like it, but I hate it because it totally just changes my, um, anyways, my hair is not, uh, look, look at my hair today. It's not that great. So, uh, it woke up, and, uh, going in a bunch of different directions. Anyways, hang on a second. All right. My name is Leslie Williams. I am a target victim and activist concerning the criminal expeditions of what is known as organized stalking, which can also be called gang stalking. Right now in my possession I have over 800, over 800 separate audio files of individuals getting around me every single day, everywhere I go, and repeating gang stalk, gang stalking, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, oh my god, gang stalking, gang stalk, oh my god, weird, crazy gang stalk. <clears throat> and then when they're not doing that, or also when they're doing that, they also will engage in specific physical gestures. Go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman. Catch this gang stalker admitting sent to harass. Read comments. That means read what's in the description of that YouTube video. Cross-reference all published dates, two statements, and evidence. Now, I'm going to Walmart today off of Shaw Line Road. i got to take bus route. 201 or the 150 to get to UCSD where I'll be connecting with bus route 41 uh, to go to Claremont Mesa Boulevard and Genesee Avenue. From there I will be catching bus route 44 to go to the Walmart. If any event transpires concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me along any of these routes and at Walmart, okay, including when I get off, including when I get off of bus route 44 to ride the bike to Walmart, if any event, if anything happens to my bike, in reference to the sabotage of the of any um, part of the bike, any part of the functionality like the brakes or the gears or the lock, tires, <coughs> excuse me, anything, it will be directly connected to this organized stalking gang stalking expedition. I'm gang stalked along all of my routes, harassed through clever overt uh, means. Okay, that are designed to let me know that I'm being gang stalked, to harass me about it overtly. And when they see that that's not doing anything for them in reference to how much they're trying to provoke me is what they're trying to do. And when that don't work, what they'll do is stage an event. Now, most of the idiots that are being used for this expedition are just assholes that have been duped to do what they're doing. That's right. 
and um, you can go to YouTube and type in listen to a stranger to see how easy it is for anybody to be duped to do something for an individual who has a appearing position of authority okay so what we gotta do is we gotta if you're interested and, and, and if you feel inclined to do so is go to YouTube and Google and type in organized talking or gang stalking and research extensively because there is disinformation online concerning these criminalities what this crime is all about now this crime is attached to all different types of criminal motivations, racketeering of all forms, insurance fraud, human trafficking. You would not believe what I know. I'm a whistleblower. And so I already know that there's certain individuals that are in the system that are directly connected to these expeditions, including police officers. There's many targets in San Diego. Mirage Shahan, she can be Googled and YouTubed. Bonnie in Oceanside, she can be YouTubed. Oceanside, California. Just type in Oceanside, California gang stalking Bonnie, and you'll run across her YouTube channel. She's being gang stalked. Uh, Brian Two, his last name is spelled T E W, he's being gang stalked. Beth Donahue was another woman who was gang stalked in San Diego. And there's multiple other targets in San Diego. Uh, so I'm not the only one. Hang on a second. I woke up feeling a little bit rough today because of allergies, swollen eyes and stuff like that. So I'm not feeling the best. But, you know, I don't want... I got to do what I got to do today. I got to go to Walmart to get allergy medicine and some other things. And we're going to see if any event transpires concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me along any of my routes today. Now, when they stage an event, which are called street theaters and gang stalking expeditions, they will also stage the witnesses. And let me tell you something about these little freaks. They'll also use anybody in the community for these events, including even children, the disabled, the elderly. That's right. They have to make it appear that what's happening towards me is either my fault or it's happening uh, towards me because somebody's crazy. That's right, because they want to be able to walk away from their crimes, either blaming me or blaming the fact that the individual who is bothering me, including in being assaulted, uh, has bothered other people, that that person is a troublemaker, because they can't make it appear that what's happening to me has purpose. That's right, because they know, the manager of this expedition knows I'm wearing a tape recorder, and they know i got a video camera. And part of the reason why they know that is because my video camera and my tape recorder has been, has been pulled out in front of people who have been overtly harassing me in the environments that I was in while I was being harassed. And because cyber surveillance is a method of these crimes. Now, if think about this. I'm wearing a tape recorder right now that's even taping the statements I'm making. See it? Okay. When I catch evidence on this tape recorder, I upload it to a video file. Okay. And then upload that to uh, the video to the internet. If they see if cyber surveillance is a method of these crimes, then they're totally aware that I'm using a uh, that I got a digital tape recorder on me and a video camera. So when they play when they stage an event, they have to make it look like even on my own tape recorder and my own camera that it's either my fault or because of what's happening towards me is a result of a just a neighborhood asshole because they can't make it appear that what's happening towards me has purpose, intentional. That's right. You would not believe how many separate occasions I have caught it on digital tape recorder that these freaks try to say that what's happening to me is because the asshole who was bothering me was bothering somebody else, like, down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I, I mean, come on. Seven separate incidences where the same exact excuse was applied at seven different locations? I mean, how, how stupid can you be? Anyways, all right, I got to go. So, again, today I'm going to Walmart off of Shaw Line Road, okay? And uh, Genes uh, it's either off of Claremont Mesa Boulevard or Genesee Avenue. If any event transpires concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me, no matter where I go today, Arby's, Walmart's, any bus stop, any bus route, anything, it will be directly connected to this organized stalking, gang stalking expedition that is happening towards me in San Diego. Now, I'm going to show you again the time. Okay, and I'm making this verbal prediction, okay, showing you the time and even having the phone tell you the time. December 9th, Monday, 10, 16 a.m. Say a cabal. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that, okay, because think about this. If an event transpires concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me, or my bike, 
and I'm predicting it now at a totally, completely separate location concerning where I'm going to, and then if it transpires, it'll prove that I was gang stalked to these places to bring about these events. That's right. Also, I'm carrying a $495 American Express gift card in my wallet right now. It's never been used. It's going to be used today, along with my bridge card. Let's see if I get robbed today, or if any event transpires that causes me to be knocked out, and then they steal it. Because these are the methods and schemes of organized stalking. All right, I got to go. Also, we're going to see if gang stalk is set around any of my routes today. And if it is, it'll be picked up by this tape recorder. Okay, I appreciate you listening, and have a nice day.